I couldn't escape. I've been escaping the whole time. I had to finally look. Look at the mess we had made. In all its lacquered glory and tarnished failures, stare at it and then leave. I was too comfortable. Being comfortable is what kills artists. There's creativity for validation and there's creativity for survival. They're very different places. I didn't know what I wanted to say. I didn't know how the ink would stick to the page, how to let go of the anxiety and the suffocating fear that latched onto my vocal cords. I had to figure out how to use my voice again. So we went ghost. The Irish goodbye into the woods in the dead of winter. We bought a 1985 Suburban, loaded up our equipment, and just left town. People make music for all different reasons. It's the fabric that connects us. We dance together, we cry together, we celebrate our communities, we question our politics, we laugh, we scream, we imagine, we live. What I couldn't find in a hotel room, on the road, or even in Seattle, I found in the middle of nowhere. No reception. Making music not because we had to, but because we got to. I had forgotten how to do that. Not being afraid of the platform that we were standing on. Not creating from a place of don't fuck it up, but creating from a place of fuck it up. Look at the mess. Not just the one that we created, but the one that is the very fabric of our country. The mess we're all living in. Stop being silent, even if it's not perfect or politically correct. You have to speak up, you have to listen. Dance, cry, question everything. Laugh, scream, imagine, live. Music was never intended to be programmed, manufactured, and turned into a commodity. Music was intended to be that one thing that we can rely on to disrupt the norm, start conversations, and change the way that we think and we feel. If you aren't scared of what you created, you aren't done yet. On February 26th, I want to share with you this unruly mess I've made. Thank you.